We are now going to add stock to our solid body. As the name suggests, the workflow ribbon bar is designed to prompt and lead you through the flow of manufacturing operations. You've already experienced the file menu. Now it's time to move on to setup. Here you will firstly concern yourself with the creation of raw material or stock. Select stock manager. This is the same database mentioned in a previous tutorial. Displayed in green are the valid stock pieces. Selecting invalid will show you stock pieces that do not suit this particular model. As you click each item the display will update. For example's sake, in this instance, let's select any of the valid pieces of stock. The stock piece is now loaded. You are allowed to replace this stock and in this instance we will use the fit stock command. Observe the display message. Fit stock will allow you to create a unique piece of stock based on the solid model. You can either use rectangles or cylinders. The illustration in the dialog box will continually update as you place values into each field. In this instance, we're going to apply 10 millimeters in all X and Y directions. We're going to have two millimeters on the top face and 20 millimeters on the bottom face. You'll be using a parallel vise to grip on this portion. It's a good idea to render the stock for better viewing. If you wish to amend the stock sizes, you can simply double click the stock image and from the resultant dialog box you may now alter the values. In this case I'll change the colour. Referring back to the previous tutorial, one may now use the component setup dialog box. Notice how the stock icon is now active. Again you can use the date and radio buttons, you may independently move the datum around the stock. Moving along the ribbon bar we now come to fixturing. Let's select the fixture manager. You can access chucks, collets and vices. An edge cam will automatically filter suitable vices which are displayed here in green. As you pick each vice, edge cam will update the display and moreover you may reorientate the vice by changing the rotation angle. In this case I'm going to select the Kurt HD690 vice setting the stock stick out to 23 millimeters. Using the component setup dialog you can maneuver the relationship between the vice and the workpiece. Let's progress along the ribbon bar now. Now we'll move to select machine.